Hi, this is Lola. Welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to give some ideas of what you can do with the Hobonichi weeks and also um, I see a lot of posts for, from people that are starting, that are worried about starting, like about putting the first, you know, pen to paper kind of thing and it just, I don't know what to tell all of you that are feeling that way except for just do it. Don't worry about it. No matter what, you are going to either love it or not and it's not going to be because of what you write if you feel like it helps you then look at somebody's layout and just copy it um so yeah because i mean i'll show you mine i didn't like when i first got this the idea was no stickers and it was just going to be util utilitarian you know so like my to-do list was here i put what i did that day because i live in southern california it's rare that it rains so i did do that little thing but it was kind of like whatever i don't care i'm not i i started putting little things i probably got a sojourner that week in the mail so i put that here so it's just you know um it kind of got a life of its own eventually and basically it was just looking at somebody's layout and seeing her use all kinds of different um not even, it wasn't even great lettering lettering because I'm horrible at it obviously but just using different colors and doing tiny doodles like this and that seemed really feasible for me and I really liked the way it looked so I started doing that um, and at the time I was putting everything on here but like if you look at them they're completely all over the place and yet I love my book so now it's transformed into something completely different I've tried a lot of things along the way and I love them all and that's the idea just do it another thing that I wanted to talk about are I see a lot of people having trouble with these pages um, so I just wanted to say the stuff that I used to track I used to track weight on this I really like tracking the videos I think that's great but I also tracked moods for a while so you can have like your moods I've seen people do it's really tiny but you can actually track things you know like this and have a column and do little dots tiny tiny I understand I couldn't do that because I have like I don't know I don't um, I'm not that delicate and then in the monthly I used to it almost used to be just a recap of my day um, now I track steps and weight and if I went to the gym or not which I didn't and I also track um, when I have my kids and when um, my boyfriend has his daughter so we know when we have all of them together and what like we do bigger plans when that's the case usually um, so that we have cool stuff to do with all the kids but um, and then the back pages you know my back pages are a mess there's no organization whatsoever but I wanted to show you this one because I found it um, in my search for my travel trifold a6 which I still haven't found is driving me absolutely insane because I am the person people go to to find stuff I've always never lose anything and I always find everybody else's stuff and I have very good photographic memory and I keep thinking about the cover I keep seeing myself touching it I love that cover so much and I don't know where it is and I know it's here whatever the bottom line is I redid my whole living room and it looks great so at least I did that and I went through all my stuff found more stuff for giveaways and uh, found this that I completely forgot which was kind of on point because I was gonna buy a second one for 2020 and I realized I can't like this is this is why I love this because it's enough it's completely enough but this um, used to be my meal tracker and I tracked a bunch of things that were health related when I found out that I was um, uh, allergic to milk and why well, it was already gluten free, uh, working out, vitamins, water, I think if I slept well, if I didn't spend any money, I think if I drank alcohol and at the time if I smoked, which I've quit again, I had started for a year after not smoking for 15 years and thankfully I was able to quit again. Thank goodness but um also i tried gratitude when i found this book like a few days ago and i already gave up the truth of the matter is my weeks for me is my planner 
Um, I've also seen somebody who has a week for each of her kids and writes a little note every day, which I think is adorable, but I also know myself, I know I wouldn't keep up with that. Um, so yeah, I have an A6 that has like little cute stuff they say to me and I mean, it's barely, it's a Hobonichi A6 from this year and I think I'm still in February, but that's fine. Um, so yeah, so am I nervous about starting this one? Yes, even though I did like, you know, some stickers, I know it's gonna evolve, I don't wanna fill it up. Um, this is gonna be my YouTube tracker and this is gonna be my steps tracker, but I kind of left it quite blank. Um, my next plan with me will have to have um, this one and I'm, more, I'm actually going to switch um, because already I find that I should have this in my pocket and not this. I find myself putting it in the last week, all the dates of stuff that are going to happen. Also, for people that have been following me for a while, I have something funny uh, to address because that happened, I think, last year. I have this. I don't know who Dr. Lee is. I don't know what day it's supposed to be. And I know I've gone through this before. So hopefully they call to remind me because otherwise, I don't know what that is. And yes, that's why I have a planner and that's why you need a system. I don't know when I did that, but yeah. So to all of you that are nervous about starting, don't be, um, just do it. Do it however you wanna use it, you know, like, if you're using the A6, same thing. You can use the same way I'm using my weeks um, for that. I use that for Illustrated, but same. It's always hard for me to start, and then, you know, I don't use pencils, so there's always bad pages and good pages, and I just go for it. Now I've learned to um, embrace the imperfections, embrace the good, the bad, and the ugly, because um, as an artist, you realize that that's the only way to grow you just have to do it you just have to do it go with what you feel like doing you probably hear my uh, kitten is going absolutely insane behind me just just as a side note that's what you're hearing but um just do it just do whatever you feel like doing some are going to be fails some and some are going to be big wins and then eventually you'll find your groove and that's the beauty of it. And I do think that having planners and journals is being creative and artistic, even though I do underwater photography and I do fine art, this to me is as much of an output of my creativity as my art itself. Um, and in fact, I have been in art fairs where I've been drawing in this and people were very interested in seeing the Hobonichi. So, you know, um, my illustrated Hobonichi, I should call it. I love seeing um, everybody's sketchbooks and it doesn't matter. We always look at as somebody else's work and we always think, oh my gosh, that's amazing. I can't do that. And it's because it's somebody else's stuff. It's really hard to look at your stuff and see it as other people will see it. So just remember that and give yourself a break and you will be fine. This is all for pleasure and for being organized, um, depending on what you're using your Hobonichis for. But that was my PSA for the day. And uh, yeah, and now I'm about to shoot my video where I'm merging these two. So see you Saturday for that one. And thanks for watching. Bye bye.